So, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be running you guys through a real quick tutorial on how to get Neo4j set up with Express. So, quick little explanation of Express. It's basically a Node.js web app framework where you can essentially build really robust APIs fast and easily. So you have a lot of built-in HTTP methods and middleware, so it makes building an API really easy on the back end. <clears throat> so the first thing you're gonna need for this, uh, getting this boilerplate set up is Node.js. You can get it at nodejs.org. Next, you're gonna want Neo4j Community Edition. It's totally free, and what Neo4j is, is basically a graph database similar to SQL, but instead of being based on rows and tables, this is based on a graph database schema. So it has its own language called Cypher, which you can use to interact with nodes and run queries on your databases. Next, we got the boilerplate right here, which you can navigate by going to my GitHub in the link in the description. And we got the boilerplate template right here. And that's pretty much it. So once you download Neo4j, you're gonna get this sort of little GUI thing right here, which comes with Neo4j, which is pretty nice. And I'll just clear out the database for now. Alrighty, so we're gonna just close out of everything and start fresh. Terminate. Okie dokie. All right, so what we're gonna do now is basically go to where, go to a new terminal window. And we're gonna run git clone on this repo here. Get it into our computer. So the clones, that part worked. Next thing we're gonna do is just run npm install. And if you get a warning popping up saying you don't have npm, just follow the instructions to install that. And what npm install does is it just installs all the dependencies. So we have the Neo4j driver for JavaScript and we have Express.js working. So next we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the boilerplate code in I'm using VS Code, but you can use any text editor of your choice. Another thing that would be uh, helpful for you to just test your APIs in general, which I highly recommend is Postman. And essentially Postman is just a tool, it's free, allows you to run API calls to test that your backend APIs are working. And you could even use it for front end testing as well, obviously and it just spits out the results of the queries that you put in in the URL. So once we do that, we're gonna open up our directory here. We're gonna to navigate to app.js and then this is the entrance into the API. And this is where you can outline all your routes and all the different API calls that you wanna use and you can separate them and delegate the file structure in a way that you see fit. So I have mine uh, set up, basically I just have the regular API calls here and then when I want to use Neo4j, I direct them to another directory called Neo4j calls, and that's where I do the all the Neo4j querying. And then it sends the results back to my API folder in the roots, and that's how it returns the answer to the wherever I'm trying to send the answer from the API. So what I can do is basically just get them launched. So what I'll do first is run node app.js and oh I see so what I forgot to do was navigate to the proper directory so once you navigate to the proper directory you run npm install and now we're good to launch the server which will be running on 8080 so we can check that it's working is you go to localhost 8080 and you'll see this cannot get thing right here and that means your express server is running and that means it's ready to serve API calls but what we need to do first is get our Neo4j server running too 
So what I'll do is navigate to where my Neo4j install directory is. I'll go to where it installed and I'll right click on Mac and open new terminal tab at that folder. And I'll just run bin slash Neo4j space console. And what that'll do is launch the Neo4j server. And to test that it works, I can go to localhost 7474. And I'll bring up the screen here. If you're just launching Neo4j for the first time, you'll get a prompt for username and password. And in that case, it'll just be Neo4j, Neo4j. Um, that'll be the thing to start. It may be a little different for Neo4j 4.0, which I know they're coming out with. So that'll may change a couple things, but I'll have a tutorial coming up going over that install process. Just clearing out the database. And so now we have Neo4j running, we got the express server running. Now let's actually test our API. So what I'm gonna do is go to Postman and enter in this root here. This is just what I chose to name my root. You can name these roots whatever you want in your API, but I have my thing here called test API. Where actually it's being accessed from here, the app.js, use test API. And what I'll do is just send a little get request to this root thing here. So when I just use this root, what it's doing is it's directing me to this root response, which just sends this root response from 8080 test API. It just sends that out. Postman shows that it works. So that's like a nice little sanity check to prove that the server is working. And then what I can do is run the Neo4j get query. And what that does is it tends to just gets the number of nodes in the database. So it should just return zero. Result zero, works fine. And then the last thing we can do, in addition to other HTTP methods, we can do a post call where we're actually sending data into the Neo4j database. So what I'll do is basically it just takes in this name in the body parameter, and then it'll run the create user command here. And I just have these sample Neo4j queries here, which will run and obviously you can rework them to whatever suits your purpose. So I'll open up this new tab here and I have localhost 8080 test API Neo4j post. And basically it takes in this name parameter and you can set the value to whatever you want. So I'll set it to dankazjazz. Username dankazjazz was created. I'll make another user. create another user, and then I'll do a third user. Cool, so we have, we should have three users created. So what I'll do is I'll go back to my get request and this Neo4j get, since it's returning all the nodes in the database, it should just return three. Cool. So that's sort of the basic example of this API working, and I can even go back to the Neo4j GUI just to double check that it worked and I should see three nodes in the database, and look at that, three nodes. And you can see the name attributes were put in, what I entered in from the Postman. So that's essentially it. That's a little basic demo of getting this boilerplate express server set up. It's really fast and easy, and I highly recommend getting familiar with it and playing around with it because it makes building APIs really awesome. So, yep, uh, thank you for watching, and See you in the next video.